Four to tie, five to win, and six will do it. Sensational stuff. Ryan Harris, chance to be the hero. It's in the air. It's gone, and it's six. He's won the game on the last ball. Huge victory for the Sackers. Unbelievable stuff from Ryan Harris. Finished the game in style. Amazing stuff. What a finish again. This is the replay. Got his length. Hits over mid on. Doesn't try and get too square. Doesn't bother running. And there's the, well, the one, the celebration. Jason Gillespie not quite getting the high five right there. Heroes are made of. This Zimbabwean but batsman unearthed a better invention than Tupperware when his unique trick shot caught Australia unaware. So it's McGrath from the River End. Really on strike for the first time this summer. Yeah, he's got it away. Good cricket. Well, what a good start. You're facing McGuire for the first time. You need 15 off the over. You take a chance. You move across the offside and you chip him away. Well, certainly it was a big gamble, and Glenn McGrath had it pretty well on line. I think it had to uh, get to him on the full. Seven off five. Boundary off this ball. They'll be right in again. He's got it away. They've got to go for two. Go on. McGrath's in the road. Keep going. They keep going. He stumbles. The throw's just slow and he's home. Oh, Marulia. He's done well. Nine of four. So he's gone again. He's done it. They can win this now. They certainly can win it. Second time he's... As you say, heroes can be made in this situation, but they're not home yet. Is, does he keep going? Does he go to the well once more? Might be his only shot. It's a beauty. Six for 298, five off three. They need a nick through the slips here. Crowd roaring at the wagon. He's got it down here, but this time it was attended through the offside, a single. That's good enough. Woo! Wow. What a finish. What a run chase. He's facing his first ball. That's McGraw around the wicket. Put in out on this charge. He's got it square. They go for two. Have to come back. Oh, they don't. They do now. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Why didn't they go for two? Oh, uh, somehow or other, he's basically got to hit a four. On show here in Australia. Taking 11 off the over with shots you've never seen before. Final delivery. They won three to win, two to tie. They want to win it, Zimbabwe. They deserve to win it, really. Here's McGrath. Got it. Oh, no, they won't get there. Miss hit. Unfortunately, Douglas Maria could not seal this one. But we still think you're a hero. No one straight. Sweeper on the offside. Should be just the one. It is. Three from five. Boucher up. Looking for one. Can someone get back to the stumps? No, they can't. So they've scrambled a single. And Bradshaw taking off immediately. And if that had hit, I think Dwayne Barber would have been finding himself a bit short. Didn't miss by much. Two to win from four balls. He's decided. No, Grant Smith's changed his mind. He wants uh, a Cantini back at third man. Six men inside the circle now. It's got to be full and it's got to be straight. It's the only way the shot can get through this. Two or four. Bowling. Brilliant stuff from Charles Langerfeld. It's a lazy swing from Ian Bradshaw. It's all about a bit of tension in the middle right now. And Charles Bradshaw guilty of playing across the line. Straight in at Midland, Midland off. Hitting leg. Bradshaw playing straight across that one. I'm giving you a warning now for backing up. So don't try and scamper out of that crease. Goodness me. Powell on strike. Langerfeld again. Got him. Got him. Brilliant stuff.
Smith from Charlotte on the field. Two wickets and two balls. West Indies have lost their ninth wicket now. Powell disappears back to the change room. Remember, it's all about the West Indies staying alive in this series and South Africa winning the series if they get up in this game. Brilliant stuff from Langefeld. And it continues. Straight on the stumps, Darren Powell. Just having a wild swing at that. Two runs from two balls. Shao Langerford is also on a hat-trick, just to add something else into the equation. Corey Collymore on strike. And he's got a hat-trick on sure. That's out. He's got it. There it is. South Africa have won the match. They've won the series as well. Shao Langerford has been absolutely sensational. The celebrations have begun. They'll go on for hours and hours, so maybe Alan even days. 18 off the last over for England to win. So the odds favour Australia. Alan Lamb on strike to Bruce Reid. Watch as he helps himself to a three-course dinner of twos, fours and sixes. Coming back for the second, the throw is wide of Bruce Reid. Two runs. That's four. That makes it interesting. Lamb's first boundary of 99 deliveries faced and what a time to hit a four. Bruce Reid. Swung that at six. Is it? That's a big hit. It's somewhere over there. I can't see it. It's going oh, there. It's some hits. Well, well, well. But that one was really well hit and went, to, oh, about 20 rows back up onto the hill. Six of three balls. Australia need a wicket. Smash. Well on, well on fields. Just the single. There's the throw. They're going through. It's an overthrow. What a time for an overthrow. There's another one. Oh dear, oh dear, just at the wrong time, the wheel's falling off, a little bit of panic. And the big danger is down fine leg, there's nobody down fine leg, and Nick over the top of the keeper, in comes Bruce Reed. There it goes, it's in the gap, it's going over towards the boundary, it's four runs, and Lamb pulls up a miraculous victory. What a performance by Alan Lamb, he struggled for 99 deliveries, he hit a four, a six, a two and a four, and the crowd has gone wild, and all of a sudden, big bye. Three to win. Price, he's got in, he's come. Oh, what a finish. England gets Sarah, the LBW, with three runs for victory. The end of a fine innings, three balls to be bowled, three runs, and Carl Rackerman will make his way to the wicket. What a finish, what a match. Caught Sarah, done it, hitting across the line. The judge, LBW for 39. Edmund Khan to Carl Rackerman. Swing and a miss. Oh, the pressure mounts. Wasn't a good delivery. Wasn't a good shot. Well, the style was there. But wasn't any contact. In comes Indian Khan. Bowling. Wow, what a finish. Reckon and clean ball by Imran. One ball to be bowled, two runs for victory, and it's going to be the veteran Terry Alderman to face the music. What a finish as Alderman takes guard. Into card Alum, the Pakistan manager. He's bringing his fields in a couple of places at deep bit wicket. Where is Jarvis? Well, the 12th man, Shohab Mohammed's coming out on the field. There was a message, he's been sent back. <laughs> it's all happening at the Sydney Cricket Ground, and there's nobody at mid-wicket. The last delivery from Inman to Terry Alderman. And he's missed it. So it's all over. Great victory for Pakistan, and a real quick hang on by two runs. And the crowd are on their feet. It's pretty tense out there at the moment. And... Damien Fleming has wandered in. He's had a little chat to uh, Healy. He's now catching. And uh, the little tight smile he gave just then will give you a good indication of just what he's feeling. But he's uh, a good stump.
Straight to mid on the game for one. And uh, the Aussies are settling for that. This, uh, so now the critical thing is to stop the single here to make sure that uh, Tim Shaw has to face this ball and the next Tim Shaw taking strike. And uh, that's a good ball and well fielded. They are closing in. Three of them then homed in on that one. Well, that's a good delivery. So one off the first ball, no runs off the second ball, four balls to go. Well, this is going to be close. Can he hit it? He's missed him. Well, that was important from South Africa's point of view. They had to get the single to put Richardson on strike. That was a suicide single. No way either batsman could have made it with a throw hitting the stumps at uh, either of the ends. Straight back to Fleming, well bowled, it's a full toss, and it was hit straight back to him. Right, so four balls have been bowled. Two to go, and they need three runs to win the series. And that'll be their first target, and... Yeah. Outside off stump, no way, that's a wide. He was going backwards, and... Oh, the ball's dead. Just about to set off for a, a run after the ball was. Uh... Yes, now that's fair enough. He went backwards there. No problem with that. He's trying to give himself a bit of room, and it's well inside that guideline there for the umpires. I, this match, which would win them the series. Last ball. They've got to run. Whatever happens, they're going for one. Will they get three? In comes the fielder, it's picked up, in goes the throw, he's got a run. In it goes, and Australia have won. All off the last ball, and Richardson is so upset. Well, what a victory that was for Australia. They were dead Australia's at one Bruce stage. Reed could not manage a single bot. Right on middle stump. Oh, that's a wide, is it? Oh, it must be very close. Umpire Steve Rando under enormous pressure. The crowd are booing, and rightly so, that was very close. Pringle, Reed gets to the wicketkeeper, he stops it. Four balls remaining, two runs required. Surely Pringle can get one on the stumps. Big, tall, gangling Reed on strike. In comes Pringle to Reed. He'll go over mid wicket if he goes anywhere. He cuts straight to right at point. Oh, it's a nerve. Tingler here at Bell Reeve. And surely they need a bat pad now because they'll go for anything now, Australia. They certainly will. Right swings and misses, and, and in comes the wicket keeper. That's good keeping, but surely now that square leg or somebody must come in close to the stumps. The pressure is on. Reed on strike. Swings and he misses. They don't run, so there's one ball. So it's now up to Bruce Reed. They have to score two runs to win. How would you like to be Bruce Reed, Ian? Well, I tell you what, Latham's too deep, I reckon. Uh, they can get two to him at deep point. Willie Watson.